Hi and welcome to Grammar and Use. Today I want to tell you more about relative clauses, a grammatical structure that is very effective in giving you extra information on things you may want to talk about. To find out more, just watch the video. So, thanks for tuning in. You want to find out more about relative clauses. Well, first of all, what is a relative clause? First of all, let's get started with basics. What is a relative clause? A relative clause is a sentence which gives you extra information about a thing or a person. And guess what? Which gives you extra information already tells us that we're talking about a relative clause because we're using a relative clause. Let me draw that down for you uh, in a bit more detail, okay? Let's go with two circles here. So we have got a blue circle and a green one. We're going to need the colors later on, so um, pay attention here. Blue stands for the things that we may want to talk about. And, well, if we have the things here, then, of course, we need to talk about persons or people, on the other hand. And this is basically the only thing that English grammar um, makes a difference. We have things and we have people. That's the main difference that we have with the relative clauses. And what can we do there? Well, first of all, we need to find a relative pronoun. And for things, that's simply which. So, a sentence which gives you extra information. Or, we go for people, then we have got who. My grandma is the person who won the baking competition. So, who tells us we're talking about a person. And why do we have that part in the middle here, right? Okay, so this is a bit special. Uh, it is also possible to use one relative pronoun for things and people, and that's the relative pronoun that. But be advised, typically for people we prefer who. Okay? Let's take a look at a few sentences. When we're looking at a sentence and talking about relative clauses, we always talk about a main clause. So that's the first part of the sentence, or the main part. A sentence cannot exist without a main clause. Then, secondly, we need to have the relative clause, of course. Otherwise, it would not be a relative sentence or a relative clause, okay? Now, let's take a look at an example here. This is the shop, full stop. This could be a sentence on its own. But we want to have a relative clause here in which the children went shopping. Here we can see we use a preposition in which the children went shopping. And the German sentence is really simple enough here. Das Geschäft in dem. Let's take a look at another example. Mrs. Turner is the teacher. Okay, we're talking about a person. We can't use which, no, no. Let's go for a relative pronoun, which or that we can use for person. Okay, who is always nice. Everybody knows Mrs. Turner, she's always nice. Okay, die Lehrerin. D in German. Now let's take a look at two examples that show us how that can be used, okay? The big dog is the animal that 
or which both is fine, everyone is afraid of. Der Hund oder uh, das Tier, vor dem jeder Angst hat. It doesn't really make a difference here if you use that, which. Um, if you want to use which, that's the thing that clearly shows what you're up to, that it's a thing you're talking about. Um, animals are things, not persons. Keep that in mind. And then let's have another example uh, with grandparents again. It's your grandpa who or that likes cooking. Um, but maybe you can see that the that here is not in bold print. So we don't use that for persons um, very much, I'd say. Dein Opa, der gerne kocht. Now, that's not really too difficult. Let's give it a quick repetition, okay? We have relative clause. When do we use them? We use them when we want to give extra information on a thing or a person. How do you know that we're using a relative clause? Well, for things, we have which, number one. For persons, we use who, number two. And we can use the relative pronoun that for things and sometimes for persons as well. Now you know the basics of relative clauses. Um, feel free to use them, try them out. You will find them very, very helpful. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.